Hello everyone, Ryan here from iOS Mars. You know, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, Geosynthesizer and uh, its new AudioBus uh, compatibility. You know, uh, I've been a big fan of Geosynthesizer for um, a long, long time now, um, pretty much since it came out. I just love the app and uh, always been really, really happy with it and always just prayed ever since uh, December that, you know, it would get AudioBus. And uh, finally it has, and uh, not quite up to uh, what I would uh, think uh, someone should do with this app. So um, let me just talk a little bit about what's happened with this app. Um, you know, this app was originally created by a guy named Rob Fielding, who he, you know, he's kind of a, a pioneer in uh, iOS music interfaces. Um, he's left iOS now and moved on to other things. But um, he started making... Uh, um, Geosynthesizer, you know, for uh, Jordan Rudess of Dream Theater, um, who is the owner of Geosynthesizer and has, you know, all the control over it. So, um, uh, you know, Rob originally made it and then moved on from iOS and uh, Jordan uh, and this guy named Kevin, who I've never really talked to or anything, uh, took over Geosynthesizer and uh, pretty much brought it up to how it was just before um, Audiobus um, compatibility. And, uh, you know, I was really, really excited when I woke up and saw, uh, Geo as an update in, on the App Store there with Audioboss, you know, awesome. I went on a huge rant, and originally I had thought, because this is just what I had heard through the grapevine, that, uh, Sonosaurus, the guy who made Thumb Jam, was actually the guy who was working on Geo, but that was actually not true. Um, Geo was actually handed off uh, to some company called uh, Raleigh or Roly. I'm not quite sure how they say it, or but it's R O L I and always in capitals. So I'm I'm not sure where this company came from because I really can't find any information that they've ever made an app before, and not quite sure why they took this on. You know, I can see uh, from their point of view they'd be like, oh well, you know, Audiobus simple implementation just takes a few minutes we can just slap it on there and throw it out and uh, it kind of seems that that's the way it did like maybe there was not enough testing done because you know I'm having a lot a lot of problems with this and uh, as I'll show you here the reason I'm doing the video uh, you know with just me talking to you which is abnormal for my videos is because I'm just gonna show you a bunch of clips of me uh, on the day that uh, Audiobus uh, compatibility was available for Geo, I started to make, you know, a couple demo videos. Well, I tried to make some demo videos um, to show it off because, you know, I love the app so much and I was just really excited that it had uh, Audiobus compatibility. So, anyways, I went to make the videos and uh, I basically got, uh, you know, kind of pissed off because uh, things keep happening that were, uh, you know, uh, uh, not allowing me to make music. So um, one of the most important things that happened was that um, you're unable to rename presets, which is a big thing for me because I'm a huge customization guy. Like I love to customize everything. I do it with every single thing I could possibly customize. So um, for me to not be able to save my presets, really, really odd. I am able to save presets in that I can make a new preset with no name and save that or I can save over uh, an existing preset but that's not what I want. Um, you'll see it from my video how it works or should I say doesn't work. But you know, I'm really 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 disappointed with this and I just wanted to know what was up with Raleigh and uh, or R-O-L-I, why they did this. Uh, what a half-assed it. Why would you half-ass it with such a popular, popular app? Um, not put it through thorough testing before releasing it. Um, I have crashes and, uh, you know, m MIDI when using Audiobus is, just seems to be a nightmare. Um, constantly the app is falling asleep out of my, you know, Audiobus workflow. You know, what good, who, who's that good to, you know? But, um, Besides that, you know, at first glance and everything, the app is fine. It pretty much functions the way it always did. My main problem with this is not that, oh, they butchered my app and it's completely broken and I can't use it because I can use it. It's just that, why would you half-ass it? Why would you just, 
it, it seemed like they rushed it out the door or, or what have you. So anyways, I'll let you look at these clips. I'm just going to slice up the, the video I'd made before um, so that you can just see the parts where I start to get frustrated or something. I guess it's kind of funny maybe, so uh, we'll look at this in a humorous light and not that I'm crapping all over the company because I'm definitely not. Uh, if anything, I'm saying, come on guys, do a better job. Uh, you know, not a whole lot to ask for. Do some testing, fix your bugs. Um, Otherwise, you know, what are we to think about things that come out in the future from this company? Uh, are they going to be rushed? Are they going to have tons of bugs? No testing. You're not getting people that know the iOS music and have a lot of apps to do thorough testing. I don't know what's going on. I, I really don't. I, I did attempt to uh, contact the company, but uh, to no avail. They didn't, they didn't really contact me back. I got an automated email. You know, they still may. I don't know, but... Uh, it's getting to about a week here, so I figured, you know, I'll make this um, video post or blog post or whatever you want to call it, uh, just to to do a little bit of awareness, you know, and just say that, you know, if you don't have Geo, don't buy it right now. Don't wait till these guys fix it or somebody else fixes it. Um, if you have Geo and you haven't updated yet, I probably wouldn't, unless uh, unless you're only interested in using the default presets through audio bus in which case it seems to work fine although I've had a lot of problems with it falling asleep and crashing um, whenever there's an effect app in the effect slot so um, maybe uh, not so useful besides just being able to record it in your favorite DAW but you know whatever I'm just saying I'm disappointed a little bit pissed off about how this this was all uh, put out this way so anyways watch my video clips and then you can judge for yourself um, if you have the app, just try some stuff, see what, see what you can come up with. You know, I'm not saying that this is absolutely positively happening for everybody, but it does happen for me, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty experienced with uh, using apps here and not having a whole lot of problems. I can usually work it out. You know, I close down everything before I start and, uh, you know, reset my iPad and everything. So anyhow, watch these videos, and yeah, that'll be it. The following video has been rated R for explicit language. And let's just grab an output. We'll just use the speaker output. Huh. Well, uh, it appears to have fallen asleep. Right on. And now for our output, we're just going to use a uh, speaker output because we don't actually... Right on. Now, uh, for our output, I'm not really going to worry about putting a synthesis... What the fuck? Well, where's my audio bus panel now? And I got no sound. What the fuck? Alright, so now that we have, um, you know, the layout set out the way we want and uh, e everything functioning the way we want it to, uh, we can go ahead and save our, our preset here. So just click save and it'll pop up and you can just click the X to clear this. And now we can just type in, uh, you know, whatever we want to call this. So we'll just call it right well, in order to save this. So just click save and we can just click X or, you know, you can, you can back up and delete this. Um, but I like to click X just to get rid of it. And then we'll just give it a, you know, a common name here that, whatever. Are you kidding me? Nothing, eh? The keyboard's just busted? What the... <sighs> Alright, so there we go. Um, we got our, we got our Yamaha running through the, the, uh, amp kit. So now we'll just, uh, hook up, you know, Geo as our controller for this. So let's pop over to Geo. And we're just going to go into the, the MIDI config here. And uh, Beatmaker 2 is selected. So we'll go over here and turn our volume down. What the fuck? Well, it should have worked. Um, hold on. Oh, and now I've lost sound completely. Well, what the fucking fuck, man? And Geo's asleep again. Fuck! I'm never going to get this video done. Never. Ugh. 
So it falls asleep when I unplug things, it falls asleep when I plug things. And to sleep again. Well, it works outside. Outside of Audio Bus. Why would it not work inside? Are you kidding me? Ugh. And it's asleep again. Alright, so let's load up Nave. And as soon as we do that, Geo falls asleep. So let's just load Nave anyways. Alright, so let's load Nave um, to use it. Um, oh my fucking fuck, cock tits, fuck! Why would it. Okay, man, I don't know what to do with this. And we'll open Nave up. Oh, fucking monkey balls. I cannot fucking believe. I give up. I give up, man.